What is up you guys? I am ZX Ryu and I've got another tutorial video today. Um, in this video I want to show you guys how you can um, run Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix uh, from the hard drive uh, using a North American PlayStation 2. Um, it came to my attention recently that uh, there was a category in speedrunning that uh, for Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix that used um, the hard drive and so I was kind of wondering what that was about. So it turns out that there's a way that you can install data onto the hard drive um, to make it load a little faster. So as a result there's a separate category for that in the Kingdom Hearts speedrunning community. So we're going to talk about how to uh, get the install data for these two games uh, on, installed on a hard drive. Um, we're going to talk about how to get the BB Navigator software installed and how to get the um, hard drive formatted as well so you can put all of this data on your hard drive and boot from it. Um, normally this is Japanese exclusive, but I figured out a way using a couple of tools that we can do this on a North American console. So hopefully this will make things a little bit more accessible um, for future Kingdom Hearts runners. In order to use the install option for Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, we'll need a hard drive, a network adapter, and the PlayStation BB Navigator software. All of these parts are included in a grouping labeled SCPH 10400. This product grouping was only available in Japan, but can be imported to the US and attached to a US PlayStation 2. Installing the PlayStation 2 hard drive is very simple. First, attach the hard drive to the network adapter. Push the two pins in front to lock it into place. Remove the expansion port cover on the back of the PlayStation 2. Insert the hard drive in the back of the console. Make sure you screw down the two tabs in the back. At this point, the next step would be to install the BB Navigator software onto the PlayStation 2. However, there's a very strange problem. The PlayStation BB Navigator software attempts to load on the American console, but instead just sits and spins in the disk tray and never loads. Before we can install the BB Navigator program, we need to do a couple of other things first. You will need a memory card with free McBoot already installed so that we can open U Launch Elf. We need to open a program called MechaPome, which you may have heard of from another video, in order to set the region properly so that the PlayStation BB Navigator software can open properly. Since I've already backed up the NVM, I don't need to do another backup, so I'm going to use the current backup that I already have. So we need to install the exploit. We need to cut power to the PlayStation 2. Turn it back on.
and open U Launch Elf again. Open the file browser, go to Mass, and launch Mechapone again. At this point, we need to change the region. We need to select CEX Retail here. Please note that even if you use a debug firmware, the Retail DEX, those firmwares don't work. You have to set it to a CEX SCPH, in my case, 50,000 series, to spoof the Japan region. After the patches have been restored, cut power to the PlayStation 2. Turn it back on. And check the version. If done correctly, the console should read SCPH 50,000. At this point, we can start up the PlayStation BB Navigator software. The PlayStation BB Navigator software is more highly region protected than other discs on the PlayStation 2. So I've already installed the PlayStation BB Navigator onto this hard drive. But we can go ahead and install it again. It's saying that it'll take 10 minutes to install. If there is no PlayStation BB Navigator software installed, the install option will be the first thing that you see when you launch it.
Looks like the software is installed. I don't think I mentioned this, but when you launch the PlayStation BB Navigator software and begin to install it, it will ask you to format the hard drive as well, since the hard drives come unformatted when you buy the grouping of hardware. At this point, the disk can be removed from the system. Press the circle button to continue after you've removed the disk. Now that the BV Navigator software is installed and the hard drive is formatted, we need to use Mechapone again to convert our system back to a debug unit so that we can load any game from any region. At this point we need to change region, we need to select Retail DEX, my console is a 50,000 series, it's also a 50,001 model. We can select any region we want to, but usually I will select the USA just because the debug option unlocks everything anyway. Force unlock, we need to say no. Once the patches are restored, turn off the console. Press triangle to check the version. If the console says DTL H50001, you've done it correctly. At this point we can put a Japanese game into our console and start it up. When you first start up a game with the hard drive installed, it may take a little bit longer than usual to load because the hard drive has to start up. Now that the hard drive is installed, we're also presented with the install option. Pressing circle on the install, will bring us to this prompt. It's asking us whether or not we want to install install data of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix to the BB unit. So we say yes. I've already installed the software to my hard drive already, but I'm going to go ahead and rerun the installation anyway so you can see what it looks like.
the install is complete, so we can say OK. Kingdom Hearts is not the only game series that can use the install data. There are probably about 50 games or so that can use them. One final item to note, after installing the BB unit into the PlayStation 2, whenever you shut down your console using the reset button, it's going to just turn off rather than reset. If you're interested to learn more about the PlayStation BB Navigator software, as well as the PlayStation BB unit, please leave a comment in this video, and I will attempt to figure out more about what the software can and can't do for you.